So in this video, we're going to be moving this boat from this trailer over to this trailer. And we're going to be doing that with nothing but really a floor jack and some blocks to build some cribbing up under it. I'm not going to use the uh, trailer jack. That won't work in this situation. You'll see why as I go along. Um, also, mainly because I got it hitched up to the truck so that it doesn't go anywhere. So anyway, let's go ahead and get going. But before we do that, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, hit the bell button. You'll get notifications when I put videos up in the future. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is get this boat back about a foot, foot and a half, so that the rear is hanging off the back of the trailer. Um, the entire trailer is set up on, on rollers, so it's easy to do that. And that's really the reason I'm getting rid of this trailer, because uh, Boston whales don't like rollers. I'm leaving this hooked up. What I'm going to do is so that I have an element of control is keep this on here. Next, we're going to go to the back and we're going to build some cribbing up using the uh, wood blocks that I got. Okay. All right, now for the fun part. I'm gonna have my son drive the truck forward, hooked up to the trailer very slowly, and I'm gonna push the boat back so the boat stays stationary. At some point, it's gonna drop onto this cribbing. We'll see if it's gonna hold, hopefully it will. Um, if not, we'll have to make some adjustments, but hopefully not. So let's go ahead and get that done. Go a little more. Go forward slowly. Yeah. 
Alright, stop. Alright, go ahead. Slowly. Oh no, you can't do it there. Why not? Because I don't think there's enough space between the rollers. Ooh, you're right then. Oh, we'll end up putting the rollers one way or the other. Yeah, you're right. How's that look? I can't really see. That's it's going to have to go a little bit just past it, I think. Lift it higher if you can. Okay, I'm going to roll it just a hair. And then I'll push it forward. There? Look good? I think so, yeah. Stop. Let me see if I get a wedge. Yeah. Unhook the cable and pull the whole thing away. Let's just get it lined up. As long as I can get the keel on that roller, I'm comfortable. I could probably crank it on there. So, hold on. Oh, uh, well, wait a minute. Hold on. Before you do that, you, this is a silly move, but what the fuck is wrong with this lock? All right, what I'm going to do. This is supposed to be really good for the bunks. I'm gonna use silicone spray. Yeah. A lot of people will use. If you can see me. Oh, hold on. Uh, like pan vegetable oil or something like that. But um, I'm doing this in the interest of uh, quickness and safety. This silicone spray is gonna work a lot better. Yeah, the vegetable spray is more ecologically friendly. Oh, you want to? Okay. I'm going to pull everything back All right. towards the boat. We'll see if it works or not. Go back a little bit. Or put it in reverse. It's not. A little bit? Yeah. Go. Keep going. 
So we got it on there. Um, not the most comfortable thing I've ever done. I certainly don't recommend that you do this. Right now what I got to do is uh, make some adjustments to the winch. I'm going to bring the winch up and uh, that'll let us bring the boat forward about another two foot. And uh, it should be tight but it'll be good for this trailer. So let me go ahead and get that done. Alright so the boat is on the new trailer. Um, We've got the trailer dialed in now for the boat, so we're pretty happy with that. Um, would I do this again? Probably not. Next time I'll take it down to the lake, we'll float the boat and change trailers. Uh, there was a little bit of a time frame there where I wasn't sure if that boat was going to hold or flip or turn over. So. so anyway, we got it done. I certainly don't recommend you do this. Uh, I did want to document it, and uh, one of the things that we did do, we had, we had an engine hoist uh, with chains that could reach the back of the boat. Uh, we had, of course, the floor jack and steel-toed boots um, in case something went terribly wrong. But again, I don't recommend that you do this. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit share and like, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.